What's good, YouTube? We're back here today with your regularly scheduled episode of What Are They Cooking? The series where we showcase the coolest audience replays uh, that we get sent in for Edison format. Starting off here today with uh, with Ben K. Now, as always, if you have a replay that is as cool as Ben K, which will be hard to achieve, um, you can send it in to the Discord link in the description in the Edison format replays channel, and I might feature it in an episode. Um... So, yeah, I know I did uh, an episode with Ben K one time before. I think it was a while ago. It's been a few months at least now, but Ben K is so cool, I think it warrants at least one rerun. Uh, so we got Colgate here piloting uh, an armed Sam samurai Ben K OTK deck, which, uh, if you're not familiar, it's kind of like an old school thing where uh, Ben K has this effect. We're going to attack a bunch of times, so you equip, like, three or four things to this dude, it gets really huge, and then it can just, like, attack for, like, 15,000 damage or something. That's, like, the idea, right? It's just a matter of of getting that set up. So we're going to normal summon a Sunlight Unicorn, which is a really funny card to be playing in here, actually. I don't hate it, and it actually gets the plus one. It's, like, a really bad kind of Stratos monster. Why couldn't they just have this thing, like, search and equip spell? I, that would be so broken, actually. Why, what, why, am, I, why am I even asking this? Um, but... Yeah, it, it excavates the top, and if it's an equip spell, it gets added to the hand. So very silly inclusion, but hey, in Ben K, we are playing a ton of equip spells, right? We're probably playing, like, I don't know, at least a dozen or something equip spells. Like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot of equip spells. So you can almost see the Sunlight Unicorn inclusion. I think that's some, some neat technology. Have not seen that before. The opponent appears to be playing some sort of Light Sworn, Vayu, Hyrule. Oh, wait. There's zombies in here, too. Man, that's a... How did they fit all this in here? Very ambitious. So they can go for the Lumina Lila play, take out our back row. However, they cannot clear the Sunlight Unicorn unless they go for a Synchro play here with the Mizuki, which they're going to do. They're going to yoink our Sunlight Unicorn. And, uh, yo, do you think they use the Sunlight Unicorn effect in, in main two? What, do you think they use the Sunlight Unicorn effect? Let's see if they do. Oh, you coward. Come on. I know you don't play Eclipse Falls, but, like, you gotta go for that, right? Style points, you know? Um, so we draw into a salvo whoa what is this for it's got to be for something but i cannot think of what it would be uh so we're gonna banish the salvo ben k axe of despair all right goes up to 1500 what does this one do it gains 500 it also negates the effects of monsters destroyed by battle that's actually pretty useful because you can just run over set things like raiko and then get in directly um so anyway we go up to 2000 all right we go up to 2,400, and now we go up to 4,800, and we can attack four times, which we would lose to Honest on the spot. I got it. We got to admit that. However, however, there is no Honest, which means we... I don't even know if there's Honest in this deck, actually. Like, do they have room for Honest? There's no way. There's just simply no way, right? Uh, so they're going to go set Typhoon Pass. We set, summon Sunlight Unicorn. We miss. All right, we're just straight up playing Dekoichi in here. Okay, I guess that's what's the what the salvo is for then. We're going to Roto for another Ben K, and we are going to pass. The opponent just specials out Sidra, attacks over our dude. That's all well and fine. We draw into a DD Crow. That doesn't do much at this point, but it's, you know, we got two of them to potentially disrupt some Light Sworn plays. They run over our Sangan. What are we getting off the Sangan? What are we getting? A Dekoichi. Okay. Well, that's funny because we can contact with their Sidra if we so choose, which we are not going to do. We're just going to set the Dekoichi. All right. At this point, we crow the Lumina to keep them off Judgment Dragon. Okay. Well, we're going to resolve that Dekoichi, get the draw one. We draw into a big bang shot. I mean, that's something. Uh, we dropped the Gores. And this MST could potentially mess with... Oh, they are playing Honest. They are playing Honest. How do they have room? How do they have room? All right, we're going to end phase Crow, the Wolf. Man, how do we win through Honest? I don't know. We got to, like, bait it on the Gores. No, you fool! You literally can't lose so long as you don't just get your Honest debated. Why would you... Ah... The opponent is, um, all right, we're just dead anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're actually so smart. They, they realized that they just had lethal next turn and they honest it. And I'm dumb for like even thinking otherwise. We're playing power pickaxe, probably a side deck card, but it's pretty funny. Uh, very good against a lot of graveyard decks because it's just like a DD crow on an eclipse spell. All right, we're going to summon out the sunlight unicorn. Again, we hit two out of three, man. That's, that's pretty solid. It's like, it's like diamond dude, but it's 1800. <laughs> Yo, Sunlight Unicorn might be might be based. It might be. Uh, we're taking a ton of damage, though, from Lumina Garoth, Sidra. And again, they have the Honest backing them up. 
So what do we do? We're going to equip power pickaxe, but how do we... Yeah, we just get honested and we, like, lose, right? Like, we just get honested and we lose? Yeah, just... <laughs> Oh, no, ironic. Okay, that's Ben K. That's what happens. You get honested and you lose. That's just how it is. That's just how it, you equip four things and they have honest. And I guess I guess we just lose from there. Tough. But it, like the same could be said if they had D prison or something. But it, at least you can like interact with their back row. You know, is the honest? There's just nothing you can do if they don't if they don't waste it. They just save it and then you can't win. So tough tough game for the Ben K deck. But hey, it is what it is. This deck is called Helios Synchro. Um, we're using Macrocosmos to special out Helios and then Synchro with it, I guess. Opponent's going to summon out a card trooper. Looks like they are playing Amaryllis, a very based deck as an unbiased, uh, you know, outside observer. Uh, they're going to set a monster. Now, at this point, we just tribute summon Caius, get rid of that card trooper. All right, that's a solid play. And what do we do? We set another scrap iron and a dimensional prison. Opponent's going to go hidden armory, add a DDR pitch to bring back the card trooper. Nothing we can do about that. They mill three. They hit in some, some crazy mills, actually. So their graveyard is very stacked. Uh, they bring back an Amaryllis, and we're just going to run over that card trooper. They get a draw. Okay. They summon out the Lila, hit a back row. They snipe our Starlight Road, and then they set a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. They don't have enough plants to bring back any Amaryllises here. We could Necro Garden to keep our Lila alive if we want. We're going to do that just because we want the mills. They banish one Amaryllis, but hey, we got another one in rotation, so doesn't really matter. We're going to activate card D, and we're just going to set, and now more mills, which, why didn't we bring back that Amaryllis? Are we afraid of our, our second Amaryllis getting Kaiased? I mean, maybe. Maybe we are. Uh, they ty We Typhoon, and we randomly Typhoon their Typhoon, which is unlucky. Although, I guess the other one was a Phoenix Wing, which also would have been a bad thing to hit, so there's really just no winning on the blind Typhoon there. Uh, let's see, we're gonna hit over their monsters, they search for a Dandelion, okay. We set Mind Control gonna be used, and that's gonna take the Hamster. Presumably this is a, yeah, Amaryllis deck, so they play the Rikos. We're now gonna flip up Pot of Avarice, which is for some reason in their deck. We're gonna put back all our plants, because why would we want Amaryllis fuel anyway? Uh, and just set Sangan, give them the thing back. The Mirror Force, though, gonna go huge here. The Starlight Road is gone. We're flipping up the Raikou, taking out the set. This is not going well. This is not going well. We are getting we are getting owned by Amaryllis. Twilight Rose Knight as well. This is a weird Amaryllis build. Phoenix Wing going to hit the set Mirror Force. We're gonna hit into Hamster, but Hamster stabilizes pretty well here. I don't know why they're not bringing back their Amaryllis ever, though. Like, surely that would be a thing to do. Okay, they do it. They do bring it back, but now we draw into Macrocosmos, which is really good in this matchup. We're going to flip the Emeralds to attack mode here. Take out the Macro, too. That's so good. Scrap Iron Scarecrow going to prevent it from running over our hamster, but they can ram the sang and get quick draw, and then you just go make a Drill Warrior. Uh, so going to go into Drill, and then get rid of the Drill. So we're in a bad spot still. We can run over the Lila, and we have a Scrap Iron Scarecrow that they know about. They're going to summon out Lone Fire. And now they can just negate Scrap Iron Scarecrow whenever they want to with the with the Titanium, which they're not going to do, because why would they think to do that? That would just... That, that, that play makes too much sense, you know? It's too logical. It, it's too smart to... Yeah, okay, never mind. We lose anyway. We lose anyway. It doesn't matter, but yeah. Okay. I mean, the it's dueling, but it even has the problem-solving card text on it where it says target the attacking monster. I remember Battle Traps didn't used to say this on them. You just, like, had to know that they targeted, but... Yeah, it's a different situation. Opponent is using Hidden Armory, so they're not normal summoning this turn. Full Helm Knight is an interesting card. Are we just playing this because it's a tuner that negates an attack? Wild. I don't, I don't know how many tuners we play. We're playing Rose Warrior of Revenge. We're playing just, like, a lot of random tuners i guess so i'm gonna go for the titanium and uh they're trying to negate that but this time they do know that you can negate the the targeting if I, all right <laughs> they figured it out it's good but but they don't negate this one what may okay gret in this situation you can maybe argue it actually wasn't worth it to negate this one i i get that i get that because you could just get into danny lion here and now you have even more negates than you otherwise would have um, so they go for Mirror Force, which, yeah, that sucks, but they have a uh, Avarice to kind of recover here. Why did they, why did they hidden armory for DDR when they had, like, no setup? Were they just, like, preparing to get macroed or something? I don't know. Well, they're making Drill Warrior now, which is, um, yeah, that's pretty good. 
Drill Warrior is pretty good. Torrential Tribute going to be flipped, but there's a Starlight Road, so we get a free Stardust here. Um, wait, what? Why did they... Why not... Uh, huh? I'm so confused. No, 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 no. This guy is just straight up cheating. That's not correct. He's saying that the Raikou doesn't mill because the the Starlight Road destroys the Torrential. That's just like... There's so much wrong with that. I don't even want to explain how much is wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> Raikou always mills. It always mills, no matter what. Unless it is negated. If it's negated, it won't mill. If it's not negated, it will mill. There. That's that's all you really need to know about Raikou. Okay? Um, so we're just Drill Warrior looping. They're presumably going to go for some kind of Mark DDR play. They mark for the Steel or Rose Warrior. This is never going to work. You know Scrap Iron is there, bro. <laughs> they knew Scrap Iron was there. All right. Well, Morphing Jar could still... No, wait. We're just dead, though. Why didn't you revive an Amaryllis? You would have lived. <laughs> Bro. I, ca I can't with this guy. I actually can't with this guy. I No, I can't. Okay, game three. Game three. Nothing Nothing offensive will happen in game three. They, actually, something offensive has already happened in game They've opened freaking Quick Draw Dandy Lone Fire. So, Drill Warrior Titanium, that... That could be tough to beat unless they just straight up attack into our mirror force with all their field, which they appear to not be doing. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we go for another Titanial, but we have mirror force that takes out two of the Titanials. Mind control going to be used to try and take control of the dimensional prison, but uh, they realize that's not how mind control works, and they click on the monster. So they flip up the hamster, get their own Raikou, and they just pass. We go Rose Warrior of Revenge, make red dragon archfiend take out all the hey that's one way to do it but drill warrior drill warrior still an obnoxious problem but it's not gonna be anymore because they decided to attack for some reason um well we just yoinked their guy mill attack and then synchro and main two so this is not going well they could ddr back their drill warrior they could have done that last turn why didn't they do it <laughs> well they go into goyo main two but the rda just kills it very funny we're gonna make a brionic here it looks like so probably pitch the trade in, put that back, attack for 23. But Diddy Warrior Lady can answer it. We're just gonna swing straight into the straight in the Brio and then set the bottomless. The bottomless will counter the DDR. When it goes off, we attack with full helm. Can this thing revive full helm? Yes, it can. I do believe that it can. Okay. Well, that's a plus at least. The DDR gonna be used now. Bring back drill. Um, for some reason we didn't bottomless that. Oh, we just win anyway. All right, we just tribute summon Caius, kill the... It should be called Helios Caius, actually. <laughs> I mean, we didn't sink her a good bit. We play a lot of random tuners. I guess just like Rose Warrior and Full Helm. It's some strange tuners, but... I guess it kind of worked out. I guess it kind of worked out. This is a strange Amaryllis build, too. A lot of strangeness going on in this, uh, in this match. Okay, next up we have a rated match between channel favorite Cuckoo Riknu... I think we just call him Cuckoo. And then the opponent playing... Honestly, I kind of chose this for the opponent deck because I thought it was quite neat. Um, Cuckoo's just playing the Neospatian deck again, which, uh, hey, I mean, it ain't broke. It's cool. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, an unbiased, objective fan of the Neospatian deck. I'm also an unbiased, objective fan of opening Trap Dust Shoot. I think that's pretty good. We take away their gores, and now they have just a bad hand. <laughs> just a really bad... They must be playing Trade-In, right? With, with Christia and Dark Creator. I want to know what's going on here, actually. What is their deck? What is... They draw Vi... They're playing Vayu? Dark Creator... Fairy? All right, we're going to go Cataster Dad. They have to draw something now. They have to draw something precisely now, or it is Jover, and... Do they play Battle Fader? No. No, they do not. Okay, game is over, then. Uh, maybe we'll get to see what their deck does in main two or in, in game two. We got to see what the Neo Spatian deck does. It drops Dad and wins. <laughs> Dro drops Dad. It summons Junk Synchron. Okay, they're playing Merchant. We're gonna summon. Do the standard opening Neo Spatian play with our uh, just like Stratos Search Granmal. Obviously very good. We opened a double Creator, which is kind of suboptimal, but whatever. They are on Enrise. They they physically have to be playing Trade In, right? Okay, yeah. I don't know. We haven't seen it yet, though, but I assume they are. We're going to summon out Grand Mole, just put that back. I assume we got to dust shoot them here, or that annoying Dimalk's just going to come back. Okay, they're going to... 
car destruction and we dust shoot them here? What are you smoking, dude? Uh, <laughs> why wouldn't you just dust shoot them after the car destruction resolves? Why? <laughs> all right, it's fine. It's it's all good. They sent merchant. We're gonna do the the play again. Summon Armageddon Knight. We're gonna Sark for our third Dark Crit. No wonder we opened two. We're playing three of them. The, the opponent is also playing three of them. But theirs are really not live because they've got five lights in the... <laughs> They'd be better off if this was, this was the light creator. Which I does not exist. In fact, still doesn't exist. Well, wait. Isn't the regular creator just the light creator, actually? It's a light-type monster, but... Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm off on that one. They are playing, however, Herald of Creation. Yo, maybe I gotta build a deck with this card, because this card is kind of sick. It just, like, turns your graveyard into a big old toolbox of boss monsters, I guess. But you do need to mill a ton. So maybe some kind of light sworn deck, but I'm kind of rambling here. Yeah, Herald of Creation, 1800. Normal summon that lets you pitch one to get back a level 7 or higher monster. And obviously, in this situation... Well, actually, we can't make Christy alive. But if we had a fairy in our hand, we could make Christy alive. We're gonna add back the Christia anyway, but we just crow it. Which would hurt a lot more if the Christia was actually alive. But like I mentioned, it's not. All right, we're going to see another Convert Contact. Sending the Dark Panther. Drawing into Kaiku. Kaiku going to attack. That's going to resolve. We banish some things, I guess. Uh, brain Control, though. I mean, yeah, the thing about Kaiku is it's just, like, very easy to out. This kind of... I don't know. Kaiku and, like, Thunder King. These things just, get like, die, you know, in, in Edison format. I don't, like, I don't like siding them. But, hey. Well, now the Kaiku's getting used against us, which is... I guess rough? No, not really, because the, the, we have so many darks, the third dark creator is going to be alive anyway. So, I mean, I guess it's not bringing back anything great. I, the Armageddon Knights are gone, so we can't, like, bring back Armageddon Send Plague. We have to bring back, like, a Panther or a or a, a Cross Porter with, like, one target left in deck. But, you know, dropping creator and getting plus ones is still dropping creator and getting plus ones. We're going to bottomless their Sork, but now they flip up Deck Dev. Which, uh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh, but I do think we get the creator on this turn. They're gonna pay- wait. Wait. Did they just use this twice in the same turn? Did they just use it to add back Sork? Dude, how did you not catch that? <laughs> they did this with, like, double cheating with the Herald of Creation there. What? Is- Once per turn, level 7 or higher just uses it a second time to add back a- Oh my god. All right, it's fine. We're dropping Dark Creator. Our our play gets decked up. How was there another Armageddon down there? Did we have all three of them down there and I just didn't realize? Or did it, like, get run over? Oh, it got decked up. That's right. Okay, that's what happened. Uh, so Goyo going to steal the Herald. Very funny. We could potentially use it for our own purposes. They're going to drop the illegal Sork, though. <laughs> oh, so dumb. Okay. Sork's going to hit over the Herald. Now they're... Did they just... That Dimok was on the field already, right? Right? They didn't double normal summon that turn. I I hope we didn't just let them cheat again. I, I really hope. Okay, we draw into deck... Or we draw into Convert Contact, which we reveal because of the deck dev. Now we're going to bring back... What? We have to bring back, like... No, I have no clue. We don't have an out to this. We're just going to, like, thin our deck of a bad card. Yeah. Get, get the dad out of there. They run over our thing. We go Rota. Okay, we can out this thing with Mistworm. Or we can out it with Dark Ends. Okay. Okay, I like that. No, wait, we're going to Mistworm it. All right, I mean, I get it. it's not really worse or anything. They have to drop Gores or they die. And now we just steal the Gores with the Goyo. All right, and now we're in a really good spot. Now we're in a really good spot. They, they draw into Rime. All right, I mean, what, what can they... They can search... No, I have no clue what they're doing. I, I actually have no clue what they're... They're going to drop Tragodia... And search magical merchant and then crash with no they're just dead they're they're we copy oh there's a plague spreader in the graveyard okay they're not just dead they go colossal we blind allure banish the kaiku we can't out this this colossal though um yeah i guess we should have dark ended it i guess we should have dark ended it because they were able to make it again however we draw into chaos sork which is probably one of the last outs in our entire deck so we just banish the light in the dark get rid of the colossal fighter Hit over the Magical Merchant, and unless they mill, like, a Necro Gardener or something, which I don't think they play, they are just going to die. 
Dang, what is this list? <laughs> the opponent is on some 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 heat. I don't know. They did that one really egregious cheat with the the Herald of Creation though. We can't we can't abide that. But hey, Cuckoo won in the end, and that's what matters. All right, final replay we've got is a Vegas format replay. Right, this is a format like shortly before Hat. It's like pretty similar to Hat, but they don't have what it, what is the like dragons of legend with with the soul charge in the hands i think that's what's in that pack so they don't have access to that honestly soul charge is like the most toxic thing in hat so well i, mean, I don't know that's maybe debatable but i i don't like soul charge whatsoever it's one of my least favorite cards of all time i just don't know what they were thinking <laughs> i do not know what they were thinking we're playing mobius the mega monarch so th this appears to be a lancer frog mirror which i cannot formulate words to describe how cool that is <laughs> a lancer frog mirror i just, just it makes me happy it really does so we're gonna we're gonna run and toad and banish some stuff because we're gonna tribute summon des frog use the effect of des frog to summon a second one from our deck which um yeah pretty cool thing later on you can do with these des frogs is just make rank five exceeds so we're gonna go into the wind up arsenal zen Mayo. Or it wasn't my first guess but uh target two sets on the field so we're gonna target their monster and our own mst we just kill our own mst all right i mean hey i guess that it wasn't doing much so <laughs> punish to go card card d pass it looks like they're playing a bunch of ghost trick cards for defense here uh we're probably just gonna did we just did we pitch to special this or this thing can't re can this thing can't double normal itself right right all right well they're using the ghost trick ghost trick mary which does something i haven't read this card in a while actually all right we're gonna special to the guy and face down defense understandable all right we're gonna pitch we're gonna detach a material to pop our own mst again and their set ghost trick monster <laughs> And now we go into this thing, which uh, you can just, like, put on a rank 5 or 6 succeed. You can just make a guy a charger. I don't know. It's just, like, a 26 dude with piercing. Whatever. It's getting econed. It's getting econed, and the opponent is going to pitch poison draw, send Ronin. They're probably going to tribute it for, like, a, a sea lancer here. Yeah, pitch again. Send another Ronin totem, Ronin totem banish. And now we are finally, hopefully, going to see a sea lancer get summoned. They're going to make the Digusto Phoenix, which, guy charger's a wind, so we can make it attack twice. All right, we actually just get OTK'd by our stolen Gaia Charger. Never mind. We didn't get to see Sea Lancer come down. A little bit depressing, but whatever. All right. Well, we're going to set the three back row. We're going to pass. Opponent's going to summon Swap Frog. Send Treeborn. All right, no, send... They pitch Treeborn special. Send Ronin. We Torrential at that point. Kind of a wild time to use Torrential. I guess we just want to get rid of the Swap so they can't keep doing Swap shenanigans, but now they bring down Vanity's Fiend, which... We do have an out for we're gonna set max c though we're just not outing the vanity's fiend i guess because we're not we don't need to and we don't have a play so yeah i mean hey are right, they gonna summon junk junk synchron i presume we have to compulse that vanity's fiend or we're gonna die all right we're gonna special out tribute summon our vanity's fiend because why not and then swing in for 2400 we're going to summon out the Swap Frog, but we can't really do much because we're under our own Vanity's Fiend. Presumably, they're going to... Okay, they search the Mary. They could Dark Hole us whenever, though. So we're kind of in some trouble. We are, we are kind of in some trouble. They're going to use Pot of Dichotomy, which... For a while... All right, some deep lore here. Avarice was banned for, like, years and years. So they made, like, a, a crappy retrain, and that's what this is. Uh, they're going to go summon Swap, Set, Pass. We Typhoon... They're still not dark holding this Vanity's Fiend. They are still not dark holding this Vanity's Fiend. They want to be absolutely sure that they have a lethal line, maybe. But I think they got to go for it now. All right. Dark hole, summon Junk Synchron, Divine Wrath, though. Going to put a stop to that play. Now we have a soul release. Going to take out the entire opponent's graveyard. Pretty decent. Summon out a swap. And this should just be game, right? Like, we have, we have plays. We can make uh, our own Digusto Phoenix let itself attack twice, and then we just have 4k damage on the board. Yeah. All right, so we're going to... Nope, Jack Frost. Okay, but we can debunk that, right? We Can we not debunk that? I'm confused. We could have debunked that, right? 
Or am I... Am I wrong? What are we doing? Why do we keep flipping our... <laughs> All right, apparently we just, like, had some problems with our overlay materials there. All right, we hit over Jiangxi, and they add another... They add Mary. We're going to call back Ronin Toten, and we're going to Inferno Reckless because the opponent now does control monster. And, fun fact, Ronin Toten is one of, like, multiple monsters that is always treated as Death Frog. I think it's this and and uh, and Dupe Frog. Dupe Frog is also always treated as Death Frog. So we can Inferno Reckless and summon all three... Blue eyes, white dragon, all three Des frogs from our deck. But the opponent gets to summon out all three ghost trick Jang Shis. <laughs> Alright, main phase two. We go into Crimson Shadow Armored Ninja, which like is a it's like a miniature Felgrand or something. It makes things unaffected. No, it makes things cannot be targeted or destroyed. Okay. So not quite the same. We go into Gachi, we go into Downed Magician. Uh Downward Magician in main two. All right, well, that's a lot of guys for the opponent to play into, and they just draw third Vanity's Fiend, so not too helpful. Wild game number two there. Wild game number two. On to game number three. Opponent's going to pitch to special that swap. Bounce the swap back. Set the Jangshi. We're going to special out our swap. Send the uh, Ronin Toten. Normal the swap again. Send the Death Frog, and we're just going to set three. Heavy Storm does not exist, by the way, in this form. I, I, think, it's, I think it got banned sometime in... 2013 was it banned in dragon ruler format i think it might have been banned by dragon ruler format i don't remember the exact moment when it got banned though it has been like it's actually been 11 years that's crazy that's crazy anyway we're doing the shenanigans where we summon two death frogs we're gonna hit over their dude and yep we're getting spectered now which specials itself in face down defense uh we just run it over though not going to overlay in main two not going to overlay we're just gonna leave our death frogs chilling here they're going to dichotomy back some ghost trick stuff. Draw two cards. Allure of Darkness. Banish. Are we finally? Can I get to see Sea Lancer hit the board? Also, title at one in this deck is hilarious. That card is... Whew, that card is busted. Okay, we're going to Synchro for Junk Destroyer with three non-tuners. Blow up our entire field. Oh my. Things are happening. They're going to bring back Ronin. Did we just... Why didn't they attack? They fear gores or something? That can't be it, right? Do people even play Gores in this format? Maybe they... Maybe there's something I'm missing. I guess it's possible. Uh, anyway, we're doing the Inferno Reckless thing, which is funny because it works from our hand deck or graveyard, so we just bring out all the Death Frogs no matter what. I'm going to make a Volcasaurus pop the Junk Destroyer, but that means that... What, this card cannot attack directly? Wow, that's actually not very much of a limitation on Volcasaurus. I thought it was like more... I thought it was like you couldn't attack with it at all or something. Uh, we're going to go into Digusto Phoenix and Gaia Charger again. And the Digusto Phoenix makes the Gaia Charger attack twice. So we just OTK. Damn, Digusto Phoenix is just like doing work in these games. It, it literally ended all three. All three of the games were decided by Digusto Phoenix OTK for game. <laughs> well, that's uh, a little bit of a taste of Vegas format there for you. As always, we're going to close out the video at this point. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments section, and I will see you tomorrow. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.